After reading the boundary mesh and performing the necessary modifications, you will create the volume mesh. Depending on the type of mesh you are starting from, you can automatically generate the mesh or manually generate mesh step by step or use a combination of manual and automatic commands. Outline of this chapter includes the following Overview Auto Meshing Initializing Tetra Mesh Mesh Initialization Controls and Refining Tetra Mesh Let's have a look at the overview of tetrahedral mesh generation. This chapter describes the procedure to create the tetrahedral mesh in the domain. It also describes some of the common problems faced during tet meshing. It contains the following sections. Automatic mesh generation, manual mesh generation, and a combination of manual and automatic command. Mesh generation is also possible for only particular region by creating a domain encompassing region to be meshed and keeping only that domain active. Tetrahedral mesh generation process includes the following. Tetrahedral mesh generation this process includes following two processes tetrahedral mesh initialization and tetrahedral mesh refinement. The mesh generation process also includes global or local mesh refinement if required. Then checking the mesh, improving the mesh quality, meshing multiple domains individually T-Grid can generate good quality tri-tet, hex-core and hybrid volume mesh by taking reference of surface mesh. Tetrahedral grid generation in T-Grid is carried out in two steps. Initialization It is the first step in volume mesh generation. T-Grid automatically adds a small number of nodes in the interior of the domain. In this process, highly skewed and coarse elements are formed. Refinement It improves the quality and density of the grid using global and local refinement. Local refinement allows refining cells in specified region. It adds nodes and cells to initial mesh. Initialization and refinement may be automatic or manual. The Auto Mesh panel allows you to automatically create the volume mesh. The automatic TET mesh generation process is divided into two fundamental tasks initialization and refinement. Initialization It includes the following steps merging free nodes, deleting unused nodes, improving surface mesh, initializing mesh, and generating and separating cell regions. Refinement Refinement includes the following steps. Sorting cells by skewness, Refining the active cell zone. Swapping cells based on skewness. Sorting cells by skewness. Smoothing the mesh. And removing boundary slivers. Initialization of tetra mesh is possible through either automatically or manually. Automatic option with or without refinement. Go to Mesh, then select Auto Mesh. Under Volume Fill, ensure TET is selected. Then 
Click on Set button so that Tech panel will open. Click on Init and Refine. This option performs both initialization and refinement. Go to Mesh. Then select Auto Mesh. Under Volume Fill, ensure TET is selected. Then click on Set button so that TET panel will open. Under Initialization, click on Init. This option performs initialization only. Manual option. Go to Mesh. Then select TET so that TET panel will open. Under Initialization, click on Init. This option performs initialization only. Now we will discuss on the TET initialization panel. Let us see the different options available and how these options work. Under Options, there are three steps available. These are Merge Free Nodes. It counts free nodes and merges them automatically. Delete Unused Nodes. It counts unused nodes and then deletes them. Improve Surface Mesh. It is based on Delaunay criteria. It improves surface mesh quality by edge swapping. Under Dead Zones, it asks for Delete Dead Zones. Enabling this option will automatically delete dead zones. Non-fluid type. By default, the non-fluid type is set as dead. The active zone is considered to be the fluid zone and only this fluid zone will be considered for refinement during the automatic meshing process. The rest of the zone is considered as dead. When the non-fluid type is set to a type other than dead, example solid, all the zones will be active after the initialization is complete. Hence, all the zones will be considered for refinement. In this slide, you can see about how the TET initialization process works. After keeping all the default options, click on Init tab. The mesh will be initialized and after initialization, it will look like this. In the figure, mesh cut section before and after initialization is shown. Generally, TET initialization parameters apply to both auto and manual initialization process. Above Init tab, there is Controls tab. Controls option provides additional parameters to control mesh initialization process. Default. When this option is used, it enables default values of sliver size and node tolerance. Sliver size. It is the smallest cell size which can be determined accurately. Cells smaller than the specified sliver size will be assigned a size of zero. Node tolerance. It is the smallest distance between two distinct nodes. If the distance between two nodes is less than the specified node tolerance, the nodes are considered to be duplicates. In some cases, boundary mesh contains highly skewed elements that cause failure during mesh initialization. Hence, checking the boundary mesh before generating the volume mesh is a must. Display grid panel displays unmeshed boundary nodes if the mesh initialization is incomplete. Some of the possible causes of initialization failure. Highly skewed boundary faces. These elements can be repaired by using boundary modify option. Free and unused nodes. Merge boundary nodes option enables merging free nodes and deleting unused nodes. 
multiply connected edges using boundary modify option the multiply connected nodes can be removed intersection between boundary faces this problem can be sorted out by node movement of intersecting faces using boundary modify option intersect and remesh disconnected zones under intersect boundary zones boundary zones with small gaps boundary refine refine mesh based on proximity or size large size variation between adjacent boundary faces intersect and remesh such zones under intersect boundary zones refinement of tetra mesh is possible through either automatically or manually automatic option with or without refinement automatic refinement process is possible either locally or globally go to mesh then select auto mesh under volume fill ensure tet is selected then click on set button so that tet panel will open click on init and refine this option performs both initialization and refinement go to mesh then select auto mesh under volume fill ensure tet is selected then click on set button so that tet panel will open under refinement click on refine This option performs refinement only. Manual option. Go to mesh. Then select tet so that tet panel will open. Under refinement, click on refine. This refinement process is possible either locally or globally. Now, we will discuss on the tet refinement panel. and working of the options available under this panel under refine method there are two mesh refinement methods available these are skewness advancing front under options there are two steps available these are improve mesh it improves mesh quality during refinement by smoothing and swapping smoothing this process repositions nodes to improve mesh swapping it searches for specific configuration of cells and replaces it by a suitable alternative remove slivers automated procedure for sliver removal or for reducing the maximum skewness in mesh cell size function it controls cell size distribution in the interior of mesh under this there are two options available these are geometric it arranges cell size distribution by geometric growth from the closest boundary according to the specified growth factor linear it arranges cell size distribution by linear interpolation from the boundary cell size max cell volume it specifies the maximum acceptable volume for a cell any active cell with a size greater than the specified value will be refined compute it computes the maximum cell volume based on the longest edge in the boundary mesh In this slide you can see about how the tet refinement process works After using skewness based refinement method and geometric based cell size function with a growth ratio of 1.2 click on refine tab The mesh will be refined and after refinement it will look like this In this figure mesh cut section before and after refinement is shown as discussed previously 
the mesh refinement process is possible both locally and globally. In order to refine the mesh locally, in TET refinement panel, click on local regions. This will open TET refinement region panel. Let us see what different options are available in this panel. Name. It defines the name of the zone to be refined. In graphics window, it is displayed as a white box. Outside range. It is the size of the outer transition region in which the geometric growth factor is applied to obtain a smooth transition between original and refined cells. In graphics window, it is displayed by a green box. Growth rate Growth factor for outer transition region Center Center of the region to be refined Length Dimensions of the region to be refined Max cell volume Sets the maximum cell volume for the selected region Now, as you can see in this slide, the local region zone 1 is defined by specifying length in X, Y and Z directions about a specified center. We can also orient this region about any of three coordinate axes by specifying its degrees orientation using Orient option. By clicking on Define, the defined region by its name will appear under Regions. We can also see the defined region in graphics window by clicking on Draw. Now, activate the defined region by clicking Activate. And click Refine so that the mesh will be refined in the defined region. It is shown with an example here.